formed up here. CPAC, CPAC, the conservative political action conference, is in full swing today, and the nuts are falling from the trees. I've already been blogging about it at normangoldman.com in the Justice For You blog. I've already posted on Facebook about it. The nuts are falling from the trees, and we will have great fun with these guys in 45 minutes. However, I want to start with guns. I really need to start with guns. Because there's a guy, there's always a guy... Kurt Myers, Kurt Myers killed four people and was himself killed today. Now it's a guy, it's in upstate New York, not far from Webster, New York, right? Here's a guy who goes out there with a gun and he just starts shooting people and then he goes somewhere else and he starts shooting more people, wounds a bunch, kills four. This is Joseph D'Amico of the New York State Police Department. The uh, gunman began to shoot at the tactical team, struck one of the canines, and uh, fire was returned and exchanged with the gunman from one of the tactical teams. And at that time, the, uh, the male, Kurt Myers, was uh, shot and killed inside the location. Um, also, the, the canine that was struck um, is also deceased at this time. Well, I mean, aside from shooting police dogs and, and firing on police, uh, the suspect, the now deceased suspect, Kurt Myers, uh, just went on a rampage. I mean, he just started walking into different places. He walked into a gas station, right? I mean, he just guy started walking. He uh, Walking into places and driving around, he went on a 19-hour a confrontation with the police in which two different locations he invaded. He shot people 64 years of age uh, and, and, and not very far from where the Webster, uh, New York, shooting occurred uh, around New Year's. You remember that, where a guy set fire to his own home, and then when the police and fire responded, he started shooting at the firefighters and killed a couple of firefighters. Well, there you go. We've got more gun deaths and Today, I hope you noticed, today is the three-month anniversary to the day of the shootings in Newtown, Connecticut. So, the Senate has now, the Senate, the United States Senate, we're talking about the Senate Judiciary Committee, has now passed a group of, of laws. Now, understand, i got to get you into civics class here. This is the Senate Judiciary Committee. So it is not the full Senate, and certainly not the entire Congress. There's nothing into the president's desk just yet. But three months to the day after the uh, Connecticut massacre, Democrats got an assault weapons ban through the Senate Judiciary Committee today. They have also banned high-capacity magazines. They have also passed a full-on federal background uh, check law. Now, this is the Senate Judiciary Committee. It means it goes to the full Senate where people in the know are betting all these things are going to go down. But it seems to me that we, you and I, as the laws are kind of working their way through, or proposed laws working their way through uh, the United States Senate, today just going through the first step, it seems to me that you and I need to have a more fundamental conversation about guns. And I have to ask you this question. Why the fear? Now, even people who I count as my friends, people with whom I agree on many issues, uh, disagree with me on guns. And I get a lot of email to norm at normangoldman.com saying self-protection. And I always write back saying uh, self-protection from grizzly bears, lions, and tigers. But if you're talking self-protection against human beings, you're wrong. Because the statistics are overwhelming that people with guns in the house, those guns get used on them. And little kids find those guns and shoot each other. And it's a, it's a simple, logical proposition. The logic is inescapable. If there are guns around, people are going to get shot. And the argument that in an, in a, in an area where there are lots of people with no guns, and then some person walks in with one gun, it's better to have everybody else armed, that makes no sense to me. Because the more guns you have, the more bullets you're going to have fired, the more people are going to die, the more people are going to get wounded. If you've got a group of people, let's say, oh, a movie theater at midnight in, oh, Colorado. Let's you say you've got a whole bunch of people watching, say, a Batman movie. Just to take an example that I made up, or I didn't make up. And some guy walks in with guns. The answer is, Everybody should not have guns. Not one guy has a gun. That means everybody has guns. Let's go shooting on a rampage. Everybody start firing. That's a great...
great idea. To me, it's about fear. And even my friends who agree with me on so many things are afraid. I believe that there's something fundamentally wrong with this society. We live on fear. And there's an even more fundamental point, which I can't even get my smart friends to agree with, which makes me wonder about all of us. Please understand, and please consider, a gun is a death machine. A gun is a death machine. And you will never convince me otherwise. But I'd love for you to try. Tell me how you can use a gun to build a chair. Tell me how you can use a gun to build a house, or build a crib, or slice butter. A gun is a death machine. And if you have a gun, you want to be a dispenser of death. And don't tell me about hunting, because unless you start arming the deer and the rabbits, it's not a fair fight. I fundamentally disapprove of anybody who believes that they have the right to kill something else. I don't care about hunting. It's wrong. Now, if you are one of the few people left in in the 21st century who hunts for food because you can't go to the store, that I get. Because now you're hunting for survival. Right? And I get survival. But everybody, come on, be honest. 98% of the people hunt for sport. And there is no sport in murdering stuff. It's wrong. You've got to acknowledge this. And you cannot tell me that you are a God-fearing Christian. You cannot tell me that you are a civilized human being when you dispense death. These damn things are a scourge and they ought to be gone. Grow up. Take these damn things, these weapons of death. You are the angel of death. Bury them. Get rid of them. Guns have no purpose. And you can't call yourself a civilized person if you've got guns. Put the damn things away. If somebody starts shooting, jump on them. Get everybody else and jump on them. Stop this. Stop. We've got lunatics running around killing people. Hit them over the head with a chair. Throw things at them. Stop with the guns. You are an angel of death, and you're going to have to face facts. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, I dispense death. That's who I am. I'm a good person because I kill stuff. I kill defenseless little animals. Aren't and I wonderful? Isn't this great? You are not a good person if that's what you do. I'm sick of the guns. I'm sick of them. And I'm sick of people defending them and calling themselves good Christians and good human beings. You're bad. I feel better about myself. I don't know about you. I feel better about myself. It's about time somebody said it. You know, this world's going to hell in a handbasket. We're overpopulated. We're destroying a place. We're shooting each other all over the place. This place is nuts. What kind of sane human being would want to be in the middle of all this nonsense? Please. Look at Europe. They don't have guns. They live a more civilized life. Australia, they had a mass shooting in 1996, and they said, enough of that, we're going to grow up, and they haven't had a mass shooting since. There's something the matter with us. And I say it's fear. Even my friends are fearful. What are you afraid of? Stop living in fear. Okay. I've said my piece. Your turn is next. 1-888-321-6001. And if you want to yell at me through the emails, it's norm at normangoldman.com. This is the place where justice is served, the Norman Goldman Show. Hey, Norm, you are fantastic. At one time I accused you of having teeny weeny little huevos. Size of an ostrich now, bro. And if there's a, it, it, it ever gets bigger, believe me, you have them. This is the Norman Goldman Show. You know, it's hard work. It makes sense from not only what's.